Hmm. Well, hello, gorgeous. I'd like to let you hide in my hedges any day. Chunky yet funky, this queen never fails to entertain. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best Latrice moments on RuPaul's Drag Race. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most unforgettable performances and tea from Latrice Royale. We're basing our choices on a mix of spot-on reads, unforgettable sayings, and the distinct approach to challenges that keeps Royale so fun to watch. Due to the range of episodes covered here, a spoiler alert is in order. Willem, Miss Industry, congratulations on your new role as the Big Bad Wolf by the hair on your chinny chin chin. <laughs> Number 10. Elimination Speech Latrice was a dominating force on season 4 of Drag Race, but her sloppy dog looks at the bitch ball left her in the bottom two. Latrice Royale. I'm sorry, my dear, but you are up for elimination. Though Royale performed a powerful lip sync, Chad Michaels delivered a strong enough routine to stay in the competition. Chad Michaels. Shantae, you stay. You may join the other girls. After RuPaul sent her off with a uniquely personal farewell, Latrice offered some loving words of her own. Her heartwarming monologue spoke to her own experience in drag, while it tapped into why so many queens look up to Ru. This was a classy and touching way to leave the show, and it rightly left everyone howling Royale's name as she sashayed away. You have changed the world of drag forever. I love you and respect you so much. And thank you for seeing something special in me. Number 9. Her Intro Oh, God! Wow. Yeah. From the get-go, Latrice could always describe herself well. So as she walked in on her first episode of Drag Race, she distilled her maturity and confidence into some uniquely poetic catchphrases. Royale's comedic spin on her size was hilarious, while it also showed just how glamorously she saw herself. The air of pride in her delivery helped endear her to audiences as well. Miss Thing came painted and she had stones on her face and she was giving me all that. Latrice also served up sass with a vicious eat it, which proved she could get loud in the workroom. By opening her run on the show with rhymes about unapologetic self-love, Royale easily set herself apart from the other queens. Latrice Royale is large and in charge, chunky yet funky. Wow. Bold and beautiful, baby. Mm. Number 8. Talent Show As Latrice Royale returned for her second All Star season, she had to really step things up in every challenge. Latrilla is back in the house. For the talent show, this meant bringing out extra props for a lip sync. Though Latrice's initial dancing was gloriously aggressive, her flag-waving color guard routine took things to the next level. The spins and throws were impressive, but Royale's second flag reveal was truly gag-worthy. The choice to blend her skill with a lip sync helped keep her abilities fun for a drag audience as well. With Latrice's over-the-top addition to the talent show, it's easy to see why Jennifer Lewis and Manila Luzon were living for this performance. Number 7. Bitch – Being in Total Control of Herself Fifi O'Hara had been throwing a lot of shade at Sharon Needles, but she wanted to make it clear that she didn't intend to be mean. Honestly, I don't try to play the bitch or anything like that, I'm real. If people are gonna step on me, I'm gonna speak my mind. Latrice, however, laughably insisted that Fifi was just being herself, which simultaneously mocked and supported O'Hara. Royale's habit for goofy acronyms hit a new high, though, when she flipped bitch from an insult into something empowering. Her hand cues and on-screen text were a fun Sesame Street-like visual, too. I guess that is Amen. a bitch then, right? All right, bitch. All right. I'm a bitch. Call me a bitch, bitch. I'm a bitch. 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 Latrice proved she was one of the show's wisest queens with this line, 
and quickly inspired Fifi to embrace her critiques. Plus, anytime we can mix spelling and drag is a win. Number 6. 5 Gs Latrice's penchant for wordplay only got better when Dita Ritz tried to avoid enforcing stereotypes for a photo shoot. A black woman on the cover of a magazine saying it with a title like that. <laughs> Royale couldn't help but laughing as Dita talked about issues with cliché foods like fried chicken. She read Ritz for being way too serious for a drag performer and called up 5 G's like she was on a game show. 5 G's, please. Good God, get a grip, girl. Because it's not that serious, really? You're a dude in a wig. <laughs> Her use of alliteration was hilariously appropriate, while it also called out Dita's presumptuousness succinctly. The live text over Ritz's face only hammered home the read further. Number 5. The Shade of It All After Latrice Royale had introduced herself with some comedic rhymes, she got immediately friendly with her fellow contestants. Despite her excitement in the workroom, Latrice had some choice words about the competition itself. Her over-the-top reaction contrasted the upbeat energy of the room so much that people just laughed more. Girl, the shade, the shade of it all. <laughs> Given how well Latrice's phrase worked for basic shade, it's been hilarious to see her adapt it for seasons like All Stars as well. The ultimate shade of it all. Number 4. Dita Ritz Lip Sync A few missteps in challenges and the runway sent Latrice to a lip sync, but she was ready to step things up. Rather than flopping around the stage for her Gladys Knight track, Royale attempted to tap into the deeper emotions of the song. Latrice's soulful approach to the face-off was a fitting counterpoint to Dita Ritz's high-energy dance moves. Honey, I feel like I'm performing to an arena of 20,000 people. With infectious clapping and a guttural performance of the lyrics, other queens praised her intense take on the track. This interpretation saved her from elimination while it gave the judges and audience a religious lip-sync experience to remember. Latrice was taking me to church. I mean, my skin started smoking. It was good. Number 3. Jesus is a Biscuit Speaking of spiritual moments, Latrice also sang a confusing but memorable chant in the workroom about food and God. Jesus is a biscuit, won't let him sop you up. Did she just say a biscuit? Yeah. <laughs> What's that mean, Jesus is a biscuit? While contestants like Fifi were living for her song, some queens didn't even know what Royale was talking about. This lack of cultural awareness also prompted a particularly hysterical and specific read from Latrice. It only took an episode, however, for the whole room to dance to Jesus is a Biscuit like they were at a Sunday service. Latrice, can you take us to church? Whoa, Jesus is a Biscuit! Ah, Jesus is a Biscuit! Kenya Michaels even used the saying to playfully cut some awkward tension in the workroom. By embracing her faith in such a loud and musical way, Latrice Royale easily won over her competitors. Future. The future. Jesus is a biscuit! <laughs> <laughs> Number 2. Get those nuts away from my face Latrice was noticeably less goofy when she had to play a prison guard for an acting challenge. Oh, I like him honey-coated. Oh, I like mine raw. Get those nuts away from my face. Latrice, have a good time. Once she was told to cut loose, however, Royale's head was swaying enough to leave Rue in stitches. Her exaggerated physicality played into her sassy character, especially as she dropped a fiery line right at the camera. Get those nuts away from my face. <laughs> I was really tapping into some serious acting skills there because Marge doesn't like nuts, but Latrice does. <laughs> the ridiculous delivery was side-splitting, and Latrice's additional head moves to the theme song were the icing on the cake. She also showed audiences how quickly she could improve within a challenge here, and left us with one of season 4's highlight quotes as a result. Hey, hey, get those nuts away from my face! Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. I fully support gay divorce. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. oh my goodness. The level of unprofessionalism, far too much. What did you just do? 
She can't even look at me. She I don't cannot. Know I live for it. Girl, too. I want nothing to f do with you. Fifi O'Hara, although reading is fundamental, darling, you might learn how to spell first, you illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> you need some cooling down, girl. No, my alter ego is a stripper. I'm loving every bit of it. Give it up for Latrice Royale. Thank you, Latrice. Number one, a natural woman lip sync. A poor drag makeover challenge left Latrice Royale to lip sync for her life against Kenya Michaels. Latrice Royale, I'm sorry, my dear, but you are up for elimination. But rather than trying a bouncy, high-kicking dance, Royale leaned into the sadder mood of Aretha Franklin's A Natural Woman. Kenya's non-stop choreography looked desperate by comparison, despite her impressive range of moves. Before the day I met you, life was so unkind, and you're the key to my peace of mind, was you? Latrice actually embraced her baby bump from the week's runway challenge, too, and brought new meaning to the lyrics by framing them around a child. Royale dazzled us without even ever taking a step, too. This unusual approach succeeded by reaching for the judges' emotions, instead of just impressing them with technique. Agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.